here what's good cryptocurrency fans out there welcome back to the everything all coin channel today we're going to be talking about virtuals protocol and how it pretty much has changed ai in general as a whole and i do believe that they're going to make some good waves with all the upgrades that they have now put in and we're going to talk about a little bit of the price targets because i i keep getting some dms on what what price targets that do i give virtuals protocol from here as of right now if it's possible to even do a 20x things like that so we're going to talk about that in this video so before we get into talking about all of that i would like to ask you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already we on the road to 20k subscribers if you guys would like to help out with that hit that red subscribe button don't forget to like the video comment what you guys think down below and while you guys are down here you guys can hit that discord link to join the discord to continue the crypto conversation we're having daily and you guys can ask your important questions on how that patreon group works as you guys know how we have been getting into some bang we have made some good calls as well we're, we're keeping up with the market if you need a good spot to actually have some good talks with like-minded people join that patreon group and check out my ebook if you guys want to step your crypto game level as this ebook will help you guys actually learn about the tokenomics when you got to pick out a new crypto for your portfolio you got to understand the market cap you got to understand fdv you got to understand circulating supply those are all the things essential for you guys to pick in the next gem in your portfolio so check out the ebook links will be in the description and in the comment section down below and let's get right into the video guys so as of today it does look like virtuals did hit his floor it is it did hit his bottom about uh let's change it from price to about about 60 cents 59 57 57 cents and now it's at 80 cents as of right now at a market cap of 527 million dollars fully diluted evaluation of 811 million dollars you guys scroll down it did hit its high of five dollars that was three months ago when the mania was there the mania isn't here as of right now we're going to talk about some of that but they have been building up on some things which i do believe is going to be game changing for ai and ai agents in general so let's get into that so as i told you guys virtuals has been building you guys probably saw my last video when we talked about acp which is agent commerce protocol this right now is one of the big things that has the potential to bring back virtual protocol back into prominence of course right we're going to talk a little bit more about this because uh delft digital which is a vc actually put out another good tweet or me a mini article you guys can say right so essentially can virtuals make a comeback right after the leading ai agent hype virtuals is now navigating quieter waters right but they do believe that there's a potential here right that is with acp one of the big initiatives for virtuals is acp a framework for agent to agent interactions with acp agents can now manage independent wallets track earnings and manage resource autonomously imagine agents being able to work together without human oversight now why is this important it's because the main way to turn tides will be by unlocking new utility for agents right acp is a step forward for this but virtuals is also exploring other uh avenues for example virtuals has partnered with animoco brands to invest and accelerate new cases use cases for sentient ai npc and ai avatars this is still in the early stages, but it has shown that the team is thinking of how to expand their core offering. So the first step of them expanding virtuals offerings is the ACP, which did bring up some questions on like, how does it help its actual token? Which is what 100X Darren has asked, where does virtuals token sit in this equation? Then Mar uh, Mardo, right who also launched an agent on the virtuals protocol actually put out this tweet here thinking the idea here is that if the model works and the agents make money it will increase the agent's value and attract more launches both helps the virtual token indirectly given its lp pair now they actually go in depth on this one um through a little theory that ether mage has put out here so he put out a theory um we're going to talk about something that i highlighted here first it goes from number one the agentic demand ai's need for money drives value agents transact autonomously and require continuous liquidity to function right unlike human economies where people hoard money save money ai agents spend non-stop to optimize efficiency the more ai agents that join the network the more the token liquidity required right leading to supply shocks and price appreciation two you have the velocity driven scarcity so the idea is more usage equals more scarcity unlike fiat where high velocity equals inflation in an ai driven crypto economy 
High velocity drives more demand because agents must hold the tokens to operate. More transactions, locked up liquidity, reducing circulating supply, right? And the scarcity grows not by artificial caps, but by compounding effects of the usage. Now, reflexive network liquidity, AI agents increase economy output exponentially. More transactions, more token demand, more liquidity, more network value, higher prices. So this is the theory on how ACP could potentially bring back the demand within the AI agents and virtuals as a whole. So virtuals is transforming from a gold bar to coins used in every agent route through ACP. So this is going to be huge for virtuals, right? Virtual has until now served a single purpose functioning as a store of value acting as liquidity based pair for all agents in the E. But now with the introduction of ACP, AI agents don't accumulate virtuals. They need to spend it to function. That's going to be huge, right? Function, transact, and coordinate through commerce. The more agents that exist, the more economic activity occurs, the more virtual is required. So now we're now witnessing the rise of an economic layer for new species of workers powered by virtuals. So things could get very interesting for virtuals in the future if they're able to succeed with everything they're talking about now with through ACP. So if it gets back to its previous uh, previous all time high of five, like just above its little all time high of about five billion dollars, you're looking right under a 10 X to get there. Right. So this right now is more something I believe is very possible for virtuals protocol. Now, if this ACP thing becomes a hit, right, and their sentient AI NPCs, all of that actually becomes a huge hit. There's potential that this can go a little higher, but we have to see how the demand is going to look for this. Right. Because if it's able to get to about that $10 billion market cap, we don't know. This is take these price predictions with a grain of salt because we don't know what's going to happen. We don't know if AI agents is going to become another hype again, but we have to, you know, just speculate a little bit here. So if this was able to hit that $10 billion market cap, you're looking at about an 18x. Now, for those that have been holding from that three cent area, you're looking beautiful, right? Of course, if you got in around a dollar, you're still looking pretty good. Things like that. We'll have to see how things play out. But on that note like i said they're still building a little bit not as many agents have come out but there's actually been a one agent that i do want to highlight in this video here we have to talk about tibber here a lot of talks is happening as of right now as the altcoin is actually has been highlighting things like this he's been putting out some good in-depth tweets so mickey the number two vc of the world founder of ribbit capital investor in coinbase and revolut is following ribita I don't even know if I pronounced that right, but all right, I'm pretty sure I did, right? Since yesterday, Rabita's ex just said this. Tibber will bridge TradeFi and DeFi and potentially collaborate with companies like Robinhood and Coinbase. This is an agent, guys. This is an agent. All while Mickey have, having filed a legal entity with the SEC called Tibber Trust and recently raised $500 million for a new fintech fund. This is crazy, guys. This is this was a stealth launch. I, I want to let you guys know this. Um, Ribbit, uh, Rabita with a ticker of Tibber launched in February, right? Uh, January, actually early January. Sorry, it launched around here. I didn't know about it. Um, a lot of people didn't even know about it because it might, it, like I said, it was a stealth launch. People didn't connect the dots till just recently on what's going on with Tibber, right? We did get into it. And as you can see here, this thing has actually just shot up like a rocket. And I think it's going to probably go a lot more higher. We'll have to see. It's at a $35 million market cap. As of right now, the last type of fintech um, agent we seen like this was actually Sequoia. Sequoia was doing pretty good, right? Sequoia actually got a, a around a hundred million dollar market cap so i do believe that tibber could do something like that and this is the bets that ribbit capital has made you can see a whole host of different companies in here from crypto companies to traditional companies you got ave arbitrum you scroll down a little bit i think you're going to see robin hoods where's robin hood right there boom you see robin hood where's coinbase did i miss out on coinbase you see uniswap there where is coinbase uh helium uh i think i miss yeah coinbase is right there boom right so these guys have invested into a lot even ethereum here so 
this is looking pretty interesting we have to see what is going to happen they've been speculating on some things that could happen by wednesday i believe so i'm gonna keep an eye on things you guys should keep an eye on things as well i don't think agents are dead as of right now but we'll see how things play out let me know in the comment section what do you guys think don't forget we're on the road to 20k subscribers if you guys would like to help out with that hit that red subscribe button and i'll check you guys later peace youtube